Friends, good morning. Do you know what's coming? Yeah. Shiklank. Do you know how? Do you know how rough it's been to not swing an axe? Thank goodness I've been able to run power saw and cut trees and get some stuff going on. But I really miss swinging. But I'm I can't. No, I'm not there. Just not there. And I'm not going to pretend. But where we are, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful day. My wife just brought me a coffee. I hope you're all well. So friends, last night, so get this. Last night, I go out and I do a video about the axe handles because cause we're ready. <laughs> we were going to put them on the website and then we realized that <laughs> we can't do that because of shipping, it, her address, Christine. It's all, logistics are a nightmare on this project, friends. I will be quite frank with you. To get them here, one thing, but how do you know if you don't do it? I need to get my hands on the on the handles. I, I'm not comfortable. Like if this was the first batch, friends, this was the first batch and they came wonky. So, <laughs> so now I've got a system where I can get them to where they're like, oh yeah, these are nice. You know what I mean? I have to do that. I, I can't put that upon anyone. So in saying that, I go out last night and I do a video. It's 27 minutes long of me just shooting right off in, in a good way. I was in a great mood. I was excited. But as I always do, I'm a bit of an impulsive person. I thought about it later and I was going to upload it last night. But I don't even know how many of these uh, character handles I have yet. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second when you get into the video. So the handles are ready. You're going to, you're some are. Um, I think we've got 50 um, of Buckins Choice, we're calling them, which means a, a good solid handle, regardless of, of uh, but most of it's straight up and down. They're, most of them are grade A, as well, from what I see. But uh, I, I've said from, from, from Jump Street here that, that we're not going down the road of, I only want your premium handles. I'll take that one little flitch out of that log and the rest I will disregard because I want premium handles. I'm not that dude. I've never been that way, and I ain't going down that way. Just like I don't wear eye protection when I cut trees sometimes, or if I hang off of one strap for the last 25 years. It's just what I do. So, um, <laughs> what? Yeah, that's the way she rolls. I, I'm not gonna say no more about that. Anyways, so this video, friends, I'm, I'm in there, I'm in my freaking long johns and my whatevers, and uh, I talk about the handle game that we got on the go. We got two things, and what I got to do this morning, probably right when I freaking upload this video, is go out and count how many uh, novelty characters, remember those crazy ones with the heartwood and the, and, the, and the knots and the defect, I guess, in a sense? I guess, defect. It's just wood. Um, so I'll go out and I'll see what I got and I, and I will count. But here's the deal. The handles are ready for sale and we're gonna do it strictly through email because I've got the, the box here. You'll see the video, it's coming up. I'll let you just get into it. But again, I always love coming in and saying hi and ramble. My last video, oh my gosh, it felt so nice to climb friends. I was down at that job on the Indian and in the on the First Nations uh, job down at the on the reserve with my friends. There's, I think, one or two more videos coming out of that. Maybe one. Maybe one. There's there's more trees cutting going on there, but um, please understand one thing before we get into this video, friends. I, this is not a how-to channel. It's never been a how-to channel. If I'm going to show you something and say, hey you know, this might be beneficial to you in your game. It's definitely not going to be, hey, do what I do and don't wear eye protection and use one strap. That's just how I do it. And I've done it. That's actually how I was taught. Friends, that was how I was taught. <laughs> so uh, I've tried the flinkety flankety gadgets and this and that. They don't work for me. I, I am, I'm late in my career, climbing career anyways. And then I'll start exercising this thing here a little bit to start making a living with, with this muscle. Here, this one. Yeah. Enjoy the video. I love you. And thanks for being here. Welcome to the newcomers.
So friends, I, uh, I'm actually very, very excited. I was extremely excited when I first got my handles, friends. These are, they're outrageous. Some of them are literally, a lot of them actually. And I've, I have done my utmost to straighten them out, which was daunting to me at the beginning. But friends, I'm telling you, uh, I'm super, super excited. You'll notice, whoa, sorry friends. You'll notice on the axe, on some of them, I've, I've done most of them. Actually, I've already done it. You can't even tell now. There was a little, like, it was in the mold, friends. Who remembers when I was getting this ready for bunion? We were trying to get ready. Friends, these are nice. I'm not joking you. They're super, super nice. Anyways, I'm not even going to start looking at these handles because I every single one you're looking at in here, every one except, you know what's interesting, friends? I'm just going to grab one of these. Here's one here. Okay, this is crazy. I, I know wood, friends. I, I, I know hickory quite well through the years. This is almost like, like this is another, it's another one of these, right? Like dead square. But for some reason, it's lighter. And I'm thinking it was from a tree that may, I don't know. But I, I'm going through everything. So here's the deal. They were, they got shipped to me. You don't know until you try. And friends, it was a schmozzle. It's hard on the guy making them. So I have gone through, we have two categories, friends, and I've thought about this hard, real hard. There's been a lot of work going into these. Now I wanna to talk to you about something. You're gonna get a hold of Christine. Christine's dealing with this. At Christine, if you're interested in purchasing uh, an axe handle, you already know that, friends, I'm just gonna tell you something right now. I'm really enjoying this process. I'm super enjoying it. Before I jump topics and go all over like I always do, Christine at buckandbillyray.com. That's how you're getting these ax handles. We were gonna put them on the website, but logistically it's a nightmare because they're not shipping from the States. They're shipping from here. So we're just doing a flat rate on it from this box. There's the flat rate, price it. If you wanna price it, go ahead and price it. It's four by four by 32. And it is, like I told you, $39.04 or whatever. It's 40 bucks. Okay? Now, friends, I have, this This pattern came to me. You know, there's a lot in, in making these, friends, to make a good pattern. Look what happened when I sent that one to Liam. We had a couple issues. We straightened it out. Liam can make a freaking handle. So it's almost like the handle at Liam's, here I go in another area now, uh, the, the handle for the wood bullet is mine from like here down and from there up, it's Liam's touch. <laughs> it's funny, friends, but that's kind of what happened. But I'm telling you, it's super hard to make a good handle for a mold. It is. Jonesy sent me a bunch of handles that I've had to work on. But he gave me a base, base model. I spent three hours on this. I know it sounds funny, but I did. Because every time I look at it, I go, oh, right? Little by little, I get it. And friends, I now, I now have an old school pattern. See the hump? Remember I talked about this 34 inch handle on the wood bullet? We're not putting it on the wood bullet, but this was, this is going to be for another ax. And here's the deal. Friends, I made this like an old fashioned, old fashioned split an ax handle. It's thinner. It's oblong like they used to be back in the day. This thing's crazy. I spent hours on it. I'm going to send this to my buddy. We're going to mold this one up too, friends. I'm not joking yet. This is Jatoba wood. It's not hickory. I wish I could show you this in better light, friends. I, I don't. Oh, actually, that's not two Shabinskis right there. Let's see if we can get. Remember I talked about this hump, friends, being up here further than down here? Look at one hand, two hands. It is a different beast, I'm telling you. This pattern, friends, goes way back. See how the, the that's a real fawn's foot or a deer leg. See it? It's further up. This is an old school handle, friends. Thin, but oblong. And I'm telling you, well, I can't believe the light's good here. Why is that light so good here? 
Maybe because I'm back further. I'm very proud of this, friends. Look at this handle. This is a classy, classy split and axe handle. It's going to be hickory. Oh, I'm excited. I'm super excited. And remember the last one, friends, how this part of the axe was, was cranked back a little bit? Well, look at this one. It's not. This is straight up old school. Deadly pattern. So I'm very excited, friends. But we're going to get this out of our hair. Now, next thing. I should show you this right now real quick while I'm going off. Oh, yeah. I'm working on mufflers and suspenders. There's a lot. Friends, I'm trying to get everything that most requests are. Suspenders. Big news there. Mufflers. A pipe for the website. Something that's trued, tested, trued and blued. We're getting there. I'm working with Mark, friends. Um, check this out. I want to show this because it's really cool. Look at this. It's not perfected yet, friends, but we're looking at doing a BBR. This is not perfected. We're going to do better than this. I've had these mufflers on saws. They're wonderful. They work great. They're better than stock, but I'm not, I'm not satisfied yet. Mark, as we speak, is working on some stuff. I plan, friends, I plan between me and Mark. See, I've got, I've got freaking, this is actually, this is for the 500i, this one. And it's a different thing altogether. And it works. We're working on a couple designs. Okay. <laughs> show you this one there it is right there look ow okay this is the perfect example hey, um see even this one like anyway i've got a mitt full that have this type of thing oh there's a perfect is that a bug i've got some stuff with bug holes in them friends so they're gnarly okay they're 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 less suited for a, a a using axe. They're better suited for a wall hanger, a gift perhaps. Here's the plan. I'm going to gather up all these. There's not a whole pile, but there is a few friends. I'm trying to make this project worth it is what I'm trying to do. Okay. This particular project that came here. Look at me going tonight. I'm just excited because I just talked to Christine and she said, Shuffolowski, emailed her and said he wanted some handles. So I got you too, brother. Might even be this one. And, and Christopher, thank you. Here's my plan. Here's the plan. See, I'm a weirdo. We already know this. Friends, here's one of the handles I was talking about. This is what I'm going to do to it. And this is what I'm going to offer. Christine has all the details. What happens to freaking defective handles? T tell me what happens. They go in a bucket or, or they get burnt to get, I, I'm not into that. I, that bothers me a little bit, actually, the way our, that, that is going, the wastage of wood. Check this out. There we go. Okay. So this is what I'm thinking. I went over it like twice, sunken in, before I put any freaking, um, any type of liquid, uh, vodka or anything or sanded. Now, now this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna smash it. Now remember, I've already like like sanded it. And um, hey, let's do this. Bing bong boom. There, more light, huh? Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah. Then I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, see, look at, see, it stays there. See, yeah, you see what I'm saying? I, I gave this a golden, burn like a golden marshmallow when you're roasting marshmallows check this out you're coming down look at this handle friends remember i talk about that sinew that's i just call it sinew look at these were like bugs or something. I don't know. May maybe. Look at that little knot. Look at it. It's like a piece of furniture, friends. 
But look, look what we're going to do. Oh, sure we are. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do with these axes. So, so this is what we're offering with the handles that don't make th this, this Buckin, Buckin's Choice. There's that group and there's the Buckin's Choice group, but you're going to go to Christine at buckinbillyray.com because she's going to help me deal with this. And it's only one, it's, these are one off. Friends, the, these ones here are one off. And I've got a few. I got a few, but I'll let you know when they're gone because it's not going to take long, I can guarantee you. Okay, this is that one I was talking about. Look at, no big deal, right? You know, no big deal. Look at that freaking palm swell, friends. No big deal, but look at this. Look at that. It's a bug hole. It's a freaking bug hole. So guess what? Burn, Watka, Buck and Billy Ray, right? I take my marker. I might even do one live here right freaking now for you. I've been in here all freaking day. Where's my Jiffy? Where's my Sharpie, friends? Hey, what about green? Expo low odor. What about green? Hey, are you serious right now? <laughs> are you, are you serious right now? Green. I'm liking the green. And the only reason this is going into that handle group is because of that right there. It's a freaking bug hole. And look at the character. You wait to see this burnt up. I should almost go for it. Axes. I told again, friends, this is on me because I told my buddy, I said, listen, just send me the crazy ones. I'll figure something out with them. I didn't want to put pressure on him to say, Mr. I only want the premium handles. I didn't want to be that guy, friends. So you guys get the fallout of my decision. So let's, let's help. It helps him like crazy. Amish fella, good, good man. Super good man. So there's a finished product right there. That's going to get smoked out. Freaking what could? Hey, look at that. There it is. That's the plan, friends. I hope that makes sense. I'm freaking liking that right now. You could have to freaking axe on that tomorrow. Matter of fact, I probably would. I'm a little nuts that way. Okay. We're not done. Let's put this over here. Oh, let's put this over here too. The prices and everything and all the information, we're going to do it through, you know, pay through the website, obviously, but Christine will have all that information for you, friends. I, I, I'm leaving that up to her. Christine at buckandbillyray.com. Friends, I love yous. I know I'm forgetting something because there was something else. I talked about the mufflers. I talked about the freaking axe handle that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send another one to because I found a super, super good guy. Ah, this thing's crazy. It's a whip. Very special handle. There was something else. See, this is why I like to get the handles. I like doing this right here. Friends. I. Okay, I, I wanted to show you guys this. Okay. And I haven't yet. Okay. You see, I've already fixed it. See the sanding marks in it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've sanded it. So I got to get... It's like two sands. You rough sand it, and then you fine sand it. And friends... Uh, this is my handle. This mine. And you know what other one's mine? This one. And I think I showed it to you. And it's for very obvious reasons. Look at this one. Now that's a defect if I ever did see one right there. You can't deny that old buck and belly, Ray. I was going to make an axe out of this and swing the sucker when the arm comes back to see what we can get out of her. Huh? Come on. I've spoken enough. Uh, that's the deal.
They're going to sell out fast. That's all I know. Christine at buckandbillyray.com. Buckin's Choice or the signed novelty character handles. There's only two. Two styles. That's it. The rest are going in to usable freaking axe handles. You saw them. Um, I think that's it. I wanted to do this update today, tonight. I'm going to send it out to you. Uh, other than that, I saw a guy's video today called The Tin Man. And he said, men lead, lead, need to lift each other up. <laughs> tin Man. Dude, good on you, brother. I need more people in my camp spreading love and spreading a good message and spreading this, this loving one another and lifting each other instead of stomping. And Tin Man, you did a video on it and I was just smiling watching you talk like that. Thank you, buddy. Good video. Friends, work hard. Be honest. One of my favorite sayings this year, the harder I work, the luckier I am. That was one of my favorite sayings last year and it's growing into this year. The harder I work, the luckier I am. Be honest and be kind. See you on the next video. I know I'm forgetting something. Over and out. Love yous. Wife doesn't like when I clap loud. Friends, good morning. It's almost afternoon probably where you are at. So now we're going to upload the video and I'm going to go out to that freaking bunker and start going through those, those kind of novelty handles that I'm going to sand, sign, kind of random, you know, be kind, work hard, be honest, you know, just some, I'm going to make some nice handles that don't make the grade, like I explained uh, for swingers in the, in the video. But I, I want to finish on something, friends. I, I've I've actually edited this video now three times. I've come in to, to end the video off because I'm in one of those moods where the eyebrow goes up, you know, and you, you're thinking, but yet your wife sits over there and she hears hears you speaking and, and sometimes I look over and she goes, uh, so I, I hit the stop and I do it again because really all I want to say is that where else in the world and, and I'm, I'm being extremely serious right now, friends. <laughs> We've been doing this for eight years, friends. Me, flapping like a wild man, cutting, ouch, doing things. And you've been here. We have almost half a million subscribers here. And we earned them. We were a slow burning stump. We, we didn't do things that the norm... Um, the YouTube, when you're building channel people, we did lots of giveaways. That was just because I like giving stuff away. It wasn't for reasons. We gave away to, 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 to the, just the regular Joe. We gave away to subscribers, not, not big YouTubers to try and build the channel. Do you know that friends, when I first started doing my axes in that, in that cold car port there, I, I would have people and it, and it was out of love and, and good heartedness, but they would say to me, Buckin, you need to make an ax for Wrangler star or Outdoor Lily, people with millions of subscribers. And I, I friends, I, I don't know why I didn't do any of that stuff or, 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 or sponsored videos or I, until recently with Nick's and Ripsaw. I don't know why I didn't. And, and, and I don't know what I'll do in the future, but I just know that I've worked my whole life for everything I've got. And then YouTube comes and people come and join your community and be with you. And, and, and support the little silly little things you do. It's a, it's a culture. YouTube, is a, YouTube can save the world, I'll tell you that. Not that it needs saved, but if it ever did need saved, this is where they're, they're, we'd be saving it, right here. Right here on YouTube. Guaranteed, 100%, and I believe it truly in my core, that this is the, the, the message platform for peace. So enough said on that. But here we have these axe handles, a guy comes here and says, hey friends, look what I got. And you people go, I want one or four. And I box it up and I send it to you. And I pay my bills. Friends, come on, think about that for a minute. 
It's crazy. It will never be lost on me. Never. It'll, it'll never be lost on me. This is one of the most exciting journeys I've ever been on in my life. I'll be 54. In six days, I'll be 54 years old. And I feel like I'm 27. And I mean that truly. I do. I feel like I'm 27 because my first 27 years were a little gnarly. I feel like I, I've, I've actually got 27 years of living in now. Not say. Eh? It's a beautiful sunny day. Get out there and get some vitamin D on the bones. I think the biggest message I have today for you is to work hard, be honest, and be kind. I'll see you on the next video. I got to go through them handles and figure out what to do with the, the novelty style ones and start making up some of those. Christine at buckandbillyray.com. She'll help you out with the handles if you're interested in one. Buy one or don't buy one. It's just a project we're doing. And I know lots of people been asking for signed items here. Over and out, friends. I love you all. Be kind. Friends, I saved this to the end of the video. It's 3 minutes and 38 seconds long. It's called Horseshoes. And it is one of my favorite songs that my mom has ever written and that I've ever been part of playing. I do the drums and the harmonica in this, and uh, this is available on Bandcamp or, of course, uh, Band From Glad, right? My mom's channel. It's called Horseshoes, friends. If you, the, the words are simple, easy to pick up, and if you relate to this, let me know in the comment section. If you're done watching, catch you on the next one. But right now, I'm going to play this song just over some cutting or something. And I'm going to make sure you can hear the music and the words. Not necessarily the power saw. I love yous. See you later.
get by with a smile You'll be a fool just like me